Welcome everybody to the Let's Build a Network series. Welcome back everybody to the Let's Build a Network series. This is video two in the series and let's have a look what we're going to do today in the video. So today we're going to start by really start building our network infrastructure. So as you can look on the slide on the screen, what we will do is we start configuring the management VLAN via the console ports of the switches. And as you can see, we will start with the 3810M switch here. That's our core switch. We're going to configure the management VLAN ID 100. We're going to configure the IP address and making sure we have the right uh, UNTAC ports part of this particular VLAN. As you can see, we are not using yet port 45 to 4048 because we're going to connect everything with single cables. But we are going to make sure that these ports are already pre-configured and part of this particular VLAN. We're going to do the same for the 3500, a different IP address, uh, and also different ports and the same for the 2920. So let's start with the 3810 and let's connect the console cable. Okay, so the console cable is now connected. Let's move to the next slide here so that we can check what do we need to configure. What we will configure is we first go into configuration mode of the switch via the command configure terminal. And you can also use conf-t so if you want to type less commands. Then we're going to configure the VLAN, VLAN with ID 100. We're going to set the name to management so that we can recognize in the switch uh, what kind of VLAN it is if we need to later administer the VLAN. We're going to put the ports for VLAN uh, for the switch 3810 to untac 45 to 48 and we're going to configure the IP address. So let's connect to the switch. As you can see we are connected to the console port of the switch. The first thing we need to do is we need to do configure terminal and now we are in the configuration mode of the switch. We're going to configure VLAN 100 and as you can see, when we type this command, you can see that where you are in the configuration mode. So we are now part of the VLAN 100 configuration. We give it a name called management. There we are. We are untagging, untagging port 45 to 48. And we're going to give it an IP address. And let me type this in for you. And I always use this kind of net mask abbreviation, uh, but you also are able to, for example, type it completely. So what I will do is do this. And now we have configured VLAN 100. So let's have a look. And as you can see, VLAN 100, name is management VLAN, untag ports, we gave it a, the right IP address. And we can also use some show VLAN commands now that you can see that these VLANs are configured on our on our switch. We can also show the so now we can also show the IP address of the switches and you can see that we have manually configured an IP address of this. Okay, so of course we need to make sure that we save the config. So let's write mem. Now the configuration is safe. Now Let's see what is our next step, because we have more switches that we need to configure. And the other switch we're going to configure is the 2920. So let's connect to the 2920 switch via the console board. Okay, as you can see, we, ha we have the cable in. And we are connected to the console switch, uh, to the console port of the 2920. We're going to do the same thing a little bit with, uh, now I'm using conf-t as you can see, VLAN 100, name, oh, management. Uh, this we're going to use untag port 23 to 24. And we give it an IP address, 192.168. 100.3 slash 24 and save the configuration. Let's verify. 
VLAN 100, name management, Intec 2324, IP address, okay, perfect. Now we need to configure one more switch, and that's the 3500. So let's connect to the 3500. So we are connected to the 3500 as we could see, so let's configure the 3500. We go into configuration mode again, VLAN 100, name is management, untag ports is 47 to 48, and the IP address is 192.168.100.2.24. We save this. Let's do a last verification. You can see VLAN 100, name is management, untag port 4748, IP address is 192.168.100.2. So, everything configured from a management VLAN perspective. Now we can start cabling the infrastructure so that we can make sure that we have some connectivity between the switches. So, let's start cabling. Indeed, let's do the cabling. As you can see, we still have the console port connected to the 3810 switch in order to make sure to see what's happening on the on the screen uh, if you are connected to the console. And on the console I have a, a debug session or the debug destination to the session I also have the uh, uh, debug events turned on. So we can also see on the screen what, uh, what the cable needs to be. So we cable everything for the 3810 downwards. So we start with the port 45 you can see on the switch what ports you need to be. Let's start with port 45 and we will connect it to the 3500 port 47. Okay, and you can see on the console port that something is happening, but a VLAN is going on, uh, online and the port will go online. So the second connection we're going to make is from the 3810 to the 2920. And the 3810 we will start with port 47. So, port 47, and we will connect that to port 23. Here we go, and on the console port, you can see not a port coming online. Okay, perfect. Now, that's it for today. So, for now, we're going to make sure that um, in the next video, we will start to upgrade the switches via the web console, and uh, via the web management, and via the console. And then we will start working towards other VLANs also in order to make sure we get a full configured network. So hope you like this video. Please leave comments if you have any questions or ideas for videos. Subscribe to the channel and make sure you like the video. Okay, thank you very much. Hope to see you next time.